Flashback, December 4th of 2022. One of the final statements from Panda Global after the Panda Smash Circuit became defunct due through a litany of things that took place. You all know about it. If you don't know, just go Google it. Watch some of my older videos on it. We all know the story on what went down. They put out a statement. I'm not going to read it, obviously, but that was back in December 4th of 2022. Fast forward, June 28th, 2024, and Panda has made an active tweet. Now, at first glance, you're probably like, oh, you know, maybe this is just some old some old, you know, merch, merch stuff that they had in the works or, you know, defunct designs that just didn't, you know, get time to rise because of everything that happened with the, you know, the battle between them and Smash World Tour and Nintendo and the whole collapse and everything, whatever. Turns out, folks, there's some Morse code involved in this. Morse code. Now, I, of course, am no kind of detective, but I did have somebody decipher this Morse code. You know what it says? not extinct something like that some shit like that now you're probably thinking to yourself oh my goodness well everybody's got to know about this all the big hitters from panda's past they've been plotting this they've been waiting for this opportunity you think so you think so look at coney right here wtf coney the former head of creative doesn't even know what's going on ee that's me it was foretold they just didn't listen i like to sound like i know what i'm talking about but a lot of times, I really don't. <laughs> Even Omni came back from the depths. I'm in NYC. Stop. It's crazy. It's crazy. TK Breezy. Whole lot of questions. But where are the answers, folks? I am here to provide you with a little bit of insight on what I think is going on here. Now, we all know and we all understand that, you know, when Panda was like, you know, took their leave from the scene, seemingly, seemingly, luminosity has risen up and taken their place but that's the thing when you rise up and take the place or you're holding the championship belt the original holder is still going to be the number one contender panda is letting folks know we ain't done yet now if you're a fan of the lights out podcast which you should be we do it every single week and it's uploaded on this very channel youtube.com slash evisu you'll know last year we got an opportunity to interview dr allen formerly of panda global or panda as it's known now and he gave a lot of insights on a lot of things that panda were planning you know remember how the controller was supposed to be a big thing how they had like these crazy like stats they wanted to implement more content like they had a lot of stuff that wasn't just tied to the circuit like panda in general had a very strong team and they had a lot of ideas around that and i always thought to myself like man like you can't just have a team like this and all these brilliant ideas and just have them all go out the window like at some point i remember i asked him like is there any chance panda comes back is there anything you come back and he was kind of ambiguous with his answer like i mean you know never say never but you never know but more than likely not well i think it's safe to say something is a brewing down there at panda now i did reach out to some sources i will tell you i reached out to some sources about three sources that i do have one of them got back to me. One of them got back to me. But part of my journalistic integrity is not to reveal everything uh, that was shared with me. That's just that's just what it is. That's just what it is. But I will tell you what I can inform you of. This is not just a random tweet. This is not just a gotcha tweet. This is not just, oh, an intern is bored and they still got access to the account. Let's just drum up some, some juicy spiciness. There is a meaning behind this tweet. Okay, there is meaning to this tweet. I have it 100% confirmed from one of my sources that there is 100% meaning behind this. And I think that's fantastic because I think the fine folks at Panda got a raw deal. Even if you want to put everything on Allen, you should be putting it on just Allen. Why did so many of these great people who were both sponsored and just working there, why did they have to have their lives destroyed their opportunities tarnished because of a crazy group mob mentality that these lunatic gamers have absolutely not 100 disagree with that so me personally i'm glad to know that this could be the start of something huge i don't know things i don't know the details of everything i don't know it could just be a lot we just want to tweet a little bit more and you know check in and tap in i don't know what path this leads down to okay 
but I'm gonna be walking it right alongside you guys. I know the first thing you're thinking, well, EE, hold on a second. Since Panda went down, LG's kind of stepped into that role, you know? There's no longer the PGR, it's the it's the Lumi rank. You know what I'm saying? All that stuff. There's no longer the Panda Global Smash Brothers channel. It's the Luminosity Smash channel. Isn't this a conflict of interest? Ha! I shop at Walmart and I shop at Target. If them niggas can get along, so can these two forces. I truly believe something great is going to come from this tweet. But let's go ahead and gauge a few reactions because of course you always wanna, when you dip your toe into something, you always wanna see exactly the pulse of the people. So let's check the post engagements and see how some people are feeling. Okay, that's a... <laughs> that's a good one right off the bat. That's a good one. <laughs> I appreciate that. This is, this is excellent. Yo, long time no see. For real. This is great. I love this. I love this. I love this. And I'm of the mindset that LG and Panda would like probably like they get along if you ask me. I don't know. A little bit of more. Yep, as I said, Morse code. So so Boxman is right on that. There was another thing that people were uh pointing out too. Uh Hazmat here with the Charles response. <laughs> Sorry, headphone users. That's that's a my bad. That's a my bad. Don't really get this one. Oh, tech, what's people hype that their potential return when they cheer on their downfall? You've already taken everything from them and yet people are still begging them for products, content, and sponsorships. <laughs> Absolutely zero shade. That guy is hilarious. Oh my goodness. That is funny. I, you know what? I did peruse. Uh, give it back right now. Mm hmm. Damn, what a time to be alive, bro. Because y'all remember the, the Panda finale never concluded. Never concluded. We never got the conclusion of this event. I would love if they decided, you know what? We're going to run that finale. I think that would be awesome. And I would still happily commentate that if my roster spot is still uh, up for grabs or, or still available there. Ah, shit. Here we go again. Yep. So a lot of like, there's a lot of, um, I've seen a lot of... <laughs> luminosity saying this tweet <laughs> i've seen a lot of um mixed or i don't even say mixed reviews i've just seen like a lot of like meme replies i've seen a lot of encouraging replies and i've seen some negative replies as well but you know i mean it's you know the smash community it's going to be a lot of negativity running around and stuff like that uh happy everyone say happy birthday to panda ceo was their first event forever ago okay well this is ceo weekend so that's an interesting time maybe maybe at the end of ceo's top eight could there be something there could there be something there bam saying right on time there's a lot of ways to dissect this chills facts agreed big time hey twin <laughs> From B, dude, there is so many different ways. Look at this guy, F off. All right, all right, tough guy. Mm. <laughs> yeah, like I said, there's definitely some mixed reviews, but me, I think this is awesome. I'm very excited to see what they're cooking up behind the scenes. Like I said, I, you know, I can't reveal my source, can't reveal everything they told me, but this is not just a one-off tweet. You know what I'm saying? A lot of good folks are working at Panda. I'd like to see a lot of good folks be back in the esports space and be able to provide some awesome, dope content but i do want to leave you with one other thing one other possibility interesting timing on these tweets i'm gonna bring it over right here zamba tweeting out it's official contract signed hmm. Hmm. now what could this mean panda tweets at 12 p.m he tweets almost an hour exactly after that. Mm, now, what could this mean? Not a damn thing, all right? I already know Zamba sponsor. I've known for like three weeks. I don't know why this nigga hasn't announced it yet. But I'd like to announce to you, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, because I always bring the vibes. Bye!